In this video, we're going to talk about the payout ratio and the retention ratio. The payout ratio is also referred to as the dividend payout ratio because it relates to dividends. To calculate the payout ratio, which I'm going to call PR, it's equal to the total dividends paid by a company that is in a year divided by the annual net income. The retention ratio, let's call that RR, that's equal to the retained earnings divided by the net income. Now, it's important to understand that the payout ratio, when expressed as a percentage, by the way, you can multiply this by 100% if you want to, plus the retention ratio, these two must add up to 100%. Or if you have it in its decimal form, they have to add up to 1. So let's go over some examples. So let's say we have two companies, Company A and Company B. We're going to say that Company A and Company B, they have the same amount of net income. And just to make the calculation simple, we're going to say that Company A has $100 million in net income and Company B has $100 million in net income. Now, out of that $100 million, Company A decides to take $20 million and pay it or pass it on to their shareholders in the form of dividends. Now for company B, out of the 100 million of net income, they decide to take 40 million and pay that to their shareholders. So what is the payout ratio for each of these two companies? What would you say? The payout ratio is going to be the dividends divided by the income. So it's 20 million divided by the 100 million in the income. That's 0.20. If you multiply that by 100%, that'll give you 20%. So that's the payout ratio for company A. For company B, it's going to be the dividends of 40 million divided by the net income of 100 million times 100% to express it as a percentage. So that's going to be 40%. Now, to calculate the retention ratio, there's two ways in which we can do this. The first way is to realize that these two have to add up to 100%. So 100% minus 20% will give us 80%. Or we could use the formula. It's going to be the amount of earnings that are retained divided by the net income. So let's think about this. The company has 100 million in earnings or net income. 20 million was passed to the shareholders, which means that 80 million was retained. So if you take 80 million divided by 100 million, multiply that by 100%, that'll give you a retention ratio of 80%. Now for company B, the payout ratio is 40%. 100% minus 40% will give us a retention ratio of 60%. And so that's how you could calculate the payout ratio and the retention ratio. Now let's put a third company in the mix, company C. We're going to say that it has the same net income of 100 million, but this time, this company is going to pay 150 million in dividends. The payout ratio is going to be 150 divided by 100 times 100%, which will be 150%. You can't really calculate a retention ratio for this because the company is not really re retaining anything, so technically you could say it's zero. This is one case where these two numbers don't add up to 100%. Now, what do these numbers mean? 
when a payout ratio is above 100%, that means that the company is paying more dividends than what it's taken in as earnings. So that type of action is unsustainable. Because it's losing money and not gaining money. So it can't sustain that level of dividends. Whereas a company can easily sustain a low payout ratio because they have enough earnings retained to pay the next round of dividends. A low payout ratio also indicates that a company is retaining earnings, maybe to pay off debt or even to grow its operations and expand its business, which is also a good thing. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to calculate the dividend payout ratio as well as the retention ratio. If the dividend payout ratio is less than 100%, then these two numbers will add up to 100. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.